Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Super excited for today's video. It is all about one of my favorite brands, Hermes, and their new summer releases, okay? I have a new fragrance to get into. I have a new to me nail polish that I'll get into. Two new blushes with a new formula to get into and a new lip product uh, with a new formula too, a new finish, shall I say, a new finish as well. So we've got some stuff to get into. I'm gonna be trying all the products on, I'm going to be swatching, and I'm going to be giving you a nice amount of comparison swatches, okay? So if you wanna see how this face came together and what this super chic thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Before we jump in, of course, I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I'm rocking a brand new color for us. This is our magenta boho head wrap that I absolutely adore. So beautiful, so bright. A color that, for me, I probably wouldn't wear it in my clothing, but as a hair accessory, like, um, I'm open to most anything when it comes to just a burst of color in a look, and I love this color. Viva Magenta also happens to be Pantone's color of the year, okay? But I absolutely adore this. I just think it's so pretty, a really, really nice burst of color uh, for the summer. It just perks you up. Long piece of stretchy fabric. As you can see, there's a lot hanging here. It's doubled here, okay? So long piece of stretchy fabric that you can tie up and fashion into any style you want. Dress them up, dress them down. There's a slight sheen. They come in so many colors, okay? So there'll be something there for everyone. If you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Okay guys, so today's all about Hermes, so let's jump in. It's about their summer collection, and we've got some stuff to get into. We'll be talking about uh, their new summer scent in a second, okay? We have a new lip product, right? Got another one of these balms, <sighs> exciting. We'll talk about these. I will give you some comparison swatches with two of the other ones I have. And we have two new blushes to get into, a new formula to talk about, I'm excited. I think there were three, don't quote me, there are three or four. I got two, the other one looked a little too light. Plus I have a lot of Hermes uh, blushes and I'm gonna give you some comparison swatches. I'm not, I do not know if I can find all of them right now, but I will give you the ones I have, okay? And we have, we're gonna start with a nail polish. So first up is this new to me nail polish that you saw me apply in the beginning. This one is Glee et Taupe, a gray taupe. And this is not a new shade. When they launched, I think I got five, and I don't know why this one didn't make the cut, but I had to decide and I, and I didn't grab it, but I regretted it immediately. And this, this went out of stock really, really quickly, this shade. And I've been looking since then, and I saw it come back in stock, grabbed it, and I was like, finally. So this is Glee et Taupe. It's so pretty, it's so, so pretty. Such an interesting, interesting uh, shade. It lived up to my hype, okay? I'm so excited that I have it. Very, very excited. These, if you haven't tried them, I talked about, I've talked about them a lot. Beautiful, beautiful nail polish with the most beautiful uh, shine on them. I absolutely love them. They have my favorite brush, my favorite brush. I'm gonna be doing a Chanel try on a nail polish video very, very soon in the next couple of weeks and 
I'm excited to um, get into it because they came out with really fabulous colors. And yeah, it's just going to be about nail polish. It doesn't always have to be about the face. I love nail polishes. So I'm going to be doing that soon. But I have to say, Hermes does have my favorite brush. Awesome, awesome uh, brush because it's wide. So I can get in there in and out. So of course, glass bottle, beautiful, beautiful Hermes uh uh, design up here from Pierre Hardy, really, really chic. And this one is joining the family. So let's talk about this new fragrance release. This is En Jardin Assetheur. The French is, is killing me here, okay? I'm trying, all right? En Jardin Assetheur, okay? And Kithera is an island in Greece, and I adore this packaging. Love, love, love this packaging. This one joins the uh, Jardin uh, collection. Um, it says on the front, natural spray, rechargeable and refillable. Okay. So that's good, right? All right. Beautiful, beautiful illustration here. You can find all that information out on the Hermes site. They tell you about the illustrator. Christine Nagel is the, um, uh, perfumer, of course, for, uh, Hermes. And this is her scent. So this scent was inspired by Greece. Okay. Uh, Un Jardin à Citer Eau de Toilette is a surprising garden that is neither green nor floral, but blonde. It is the expression of an olfactory quest through Greece that leads to Cathera, a picturesque island that has inspired many artists. Okay, so that's the inspiration. I already, I've been wearing it. Okay, I've been wearing it and um, loving it, if I do say so myself. Uh, the first time I wore it, I was unsure. I immediately get like a nutty uh fragrance it almost smells like ginger to me now remember my vocabulary for fragrances is not the most grand let me read about the notes so i can match up what i'm experiencing to what they're saying potentially okay so it is a citrus and woody fragrance that's what i get off the back with the nuts uh is the the citrus so what i thought was ginger a citrusy smell um Notes of grass with a strength of olive wood and the tenderness of fresh pistachio. The fresh pistachio accounts for the woodiness that I experienced through the length of this wear. That doesn't go away, but it does linger throughout the day, all right? Uh, it's warm and sensual, main raw materials, grasses, olive wood, and fresh pistachio. So for me, it is giving summer, warm. Portugal has a lot of olive trees. They're known for their olive trees. So that scent is something that I can relate to um, as well. Now I've read some reviews because fragrance is the one thing I'm going to read a review about before I get it and, or a few reviews. And I've seen that people are kind of torn. Some people love it and some people don't, don't love it so much. I happen to really, really like it. And the first time again, very unsure but I kept wearing it the days after, and I've come to really, really appreciate the scent. I like the, the nuttiness, and I like that citrus, and I like the development throughout the day. It just settles into a nice, yeah, a nice fragrance that just reminds me of uh, the summer and, and spring, or summer, spring, now early fall, those warm months. I, 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 that's, what, that's what it conjures up in me. And if you got this, I would really love to know what you think about this fragrance and what's your, what's your favorite En Jardin and what's your favorite En Jardin uh, fragrance is from Hermes, okay? Because this is a nice one. This is my first one, but I really, really like it. I think it's different, different from anything I have in my collection and I think it's uh, a beautiful scent. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go out of order here because my lips are feeling a little dry. Um, so I'm gonna start with the lip product. So here is the packaging again from Pierre Hardy that I absolutely adore. Color block. They're keeping the um the these lip enhancers uh with this lighter pink or peach um bottom for now. I don't know if that'll spread out to other things, but it seems to be the dedicated colors right now, uh, uh like a rose and a, a peachy color for the um lip enhancers, which are different from the the lipsticks. And um, here we go. This is Rose Confetti, okay? There we go. Rose Confetti. Let's see what they're saying about Rose Confetti. Well, first of all, the lip enhancer elevates the lips with a translucent touch of pink, leaving either a matte or glossy fin finish. Lips are gently nourished, smooth, and plumped. I'm gonna be honest with you. 
Um, I did, I liked, I liked the product when I first tried it, but I didn't wear it for a while and then I started wearing it and then I became, I really got to love it. So I really love this product, which is why I, I got this color. Let me try it on and then I'll give you comparison swatches. So let me try this on. Now, this is a lip enhancer. If you're expecting fireworks on your lips, this won't be the product for you, okay? I wear this as a little something on my lips, okay? And it, it just feels amazing on my lips. Actually, this one is feeling, um, hmm, this is interesting. This one's feeling more satin than the other ones. Um, the other ones lean a little more matte on me, which, and I love the texture. It feels so interesting on the lips, the other ones. So this is, this is different. From, from this product, I like it a lot, a lot, okay? It's just a little something, and obviously depending on the color of your lips, you will yield a different shade on your lips, but I really do love this product. Uh, what they're saying about confetti is, let's see what they're saying about rose confetti. The color is a playful pink with hints of blue, illuminating your lips and it's radiant and fresh confetti-like color. Okay, inspired by the softness of Milo leather, the fine imperceptible, the fine imperceptible texture glides across the lips, leaving a light veil of color for a natural look. So you can see it's a nice bit of pink on me, very light wash, very light wash on me, but that's what I expect. And I'm actually seeing more pink than I thought I would. So I, it's doing better than I thought I would, than I thought it would. Very, very pretty easy lip product now that my lips are moisturized let's get to these comparison swatches and then we're going to move on to the cheeks okay so i did want to mention really quickly that this is refillable and this one is a refill i got the refill one it's a way for you to save money but also there's only so many cases i need i have a lot of hermes lips products at this point and how many can i hold with one wear at one time and then carry at one time so it doesn't make sense to keep buying cases in my case it just doesn't make sense um when i can switch around okay so i did get the refill for this comes in this black case comes with a little cover as well and it fits in any of them okay any hermes uh cases you can uh fit your your refills in i chose this one that is for the lip enhancer and you just stick it in two seconds and you're good to go okay here are the comparison swatches so you can see right here in terms of finishes how different this rose confetti is, right? So a nice shine on this one. This one is rose tan, my love. And this one is rose apricot, okay? This is a beautiful peachy color, nice rose tan, and now we have this bright burst of pink. So, so two different uh, um, formulas, and but I love them all. I really, really do. And I'll be wearing this one joints the family, so I'll be wearing this one a lot now too, especially because it's got a different finish and it's feeling really nice and moisturizing on my lips and my lips were feeling a little dry right now. So that was the new lip enhancer. Uh, there are four now, I believe, four now. And um, yeah, we'll see where they take it. I'm curious to see if we'll get like a plum or a other, maybe a reddish color. It'll be interesting to see where they push these lip enhancers. This is a great time to remind you that I will always have swatches on my Instagram page a couple of days after a video goes live here on YouTube, okay? I will be taking photos and video in sunlight so we can see how these products look uh, when the light is on them. And for this one, that means I will have comparison swatches up as well so you can see them together, see the different finishes. And yeah, so that's just something I wanted to mention. So come by my Instagram page, come follow me. Um, and you can see what I have going on there. We, you know, I give polls, talk about upcoming products, do all that stuff. So it's fun over there. So come follow me on Instagram and you can check out these swatches even closer. Okay, so let's get to these cheeks. Again, I grabbed two of the new blushes that they just released and these have a slight glow to them. So these are a little shimmery, these, okay? This one is Rose Ambre. And this is Rose Couvre, okay? And I will break down what they say about each one of them. Again, slight 
scents. I can't place it to anything. Now I know it as like the Hermes makeup scent. It's just what I've become familiar with. So that's this I love, okay? So remember the silkiness of these. I talked about this in the first blush video. Um, the silkiness of these uh, comes from the silk twill fabric, right? And so they've mimicked the silk twill with the fine lines there. Love. We make Silk 12 products ourselves, and so um, uh, I know how soft Silk 12, and our Silk 12 is from Italy, which is like the soft, it's such, such crazy good silk. And so that's the inspiration for these blushes. They should be that silky soft, but I always love the details with the, the lines that mimic the lines in uh, Silk 12. So always a super duper nice touch. That's the one thing I count on for Hermes aesthetically to just look luxurious, okay? And here we are. Okay, so let's start with Rose Ombre, okay? They're describing it as a silky, delicate beige pink with a pearly shell-like shimmer, okay? Gorgeous, this is so pretty. This, ooh, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's like a peachy, hmm, peachy shade on me, and I can see that slight sheen on it. Remember the name of the game with Hermes makeup is Enhancement. It's not about transformation. Nothing they've come out with or presumably will come out with is about transformation. It's always about just enhancing what's there. So one of the things I always look for is a sophisticated uh, wear from their products that I love. I'm gonna use their angled brush that they came out with. They came out with a new brush recently, but um, I didn't get it and uh, I just didn't get it. The end of the story, right? I didn't get it. Uh, this is um, this is not a brush I would typically use for this, but since I have it, I said, let's go. This is going to, I can already see, <laughs> go into my skin tone a bit, but I still see it showing up again. Not if I, if I like, a lot of color, if I want a true burst of color, this is not who I'm going to turn to it is Hermes. But here's the thing, I never want a burst of color. So they are right up my alley. They're right up my alley. Sophisticated, elegant, and just easy, and just not too much, right? Not too much. Yep, I'm seeing this. It's really, really nice. And and it doesn't look, see now see, I have see how, how many times I went in I have so many blushes, like I have to do a baby tap to get the, the, the thing in. So I, I don't, I know I can't overdo it. And I'm somebody who tends to overdo it. So I know I can't overdo it with these, um, these things. Do you see the nice glow though? I was debating, I said, will I need a highlighter? I might put the highlighter just to see the difference, but this is clearly like a, a one and done situation in terms of the finish. I don't need, a highlighter and I can use this as, mm, it's subtle, but I really, really like it. Beautiful, beautiful, oh, that's really nice. Let's get to this other one. Okay, so here is Rose Couvre, okay? Beautiful, beautiful color. They are saying this shade is a powerful crimson pink elevated by dazzling hints of gold. So let's get this one on. It's clearly this one has more um, color than this one is a little bit more subtle but I'm excited to try it on. And I'm curious, you can guys let me know in the comments what you're thinking about the next part, what I say here is that I'm not, I love, let me say this, I love that Hermes, um, that they've stuck to these, uh, the, 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 the releases not being too much, right? And when I first saw that it was gonna be blushes, I was like, oh, blushes, I have so many blushes from them. But then they said, no, it's in a new formula. So I said, oh, that is so smart. Something old is new again, right? And I just thought really, really smart that they're not coming out with the same, just more of the same, at least try to switch it up in a, oh yeah. Try to switch it up uh, somewhat. If you're gonna buy it, at least change the formula. I thought that was so smart. And I love that they've stuck to that. I don't wanna say that I'm bored of the beauty industry. I'm not bored because there are cool things coming out all the time, but like just a year ago, I was singing the praises of Dior and I've kind of fallen out of favor a little bit. I feel like there's a lot of re-promote 
same thing. Everything looks the same. They're just repackaging. And it's not the most exciting stuff coming from Dior after what I considered an awesome couple of years, right? So not as inspired by some things. And I was just telling my husband, I was like, listen, I don't know. This summer will be interesting because I'm not seeing things in the next few couple of weeks. I have some really cool things coming up. But beyond that, I'm like, mm, I'm not seeing anything that's really grabbing me. So I'm not sure how many videos I'll do throughout the uh, summer, or I'm just going to dig back into my collection or something, revisit things because I'm just, mm, mm. there's so many releases. It's so overwhelming that it loses, um, I lose my enthusiasm when there are always things coming out or there's always the same kind of products. And I'm like, I appreciate that Hermes switched it up a little bit. Okay, even in just the, the formula. This is a beautiful, beautiful color, rose couvre. Okay, we've got the shine. We've got that pink there. Very, very pretty. This one I will put across my nose. Did you all watch Queen Charlotte? Fantastic. Best one yet for me by a country mile. Best one yet and really cool. Shonda said that... I, when I saw it was six episodes, I think we were two in, and I was like, how could this only be six? How can this only be six? Like, there's so much story here. Shonda acknowledged that, that there's still so much story that they might revisit this, this Queen Charlotte. They need to. There's so much there that I hope they keep this cast going because just as you were getting into it, it was over, right? So, complete aside. I don't know why I went into Queen Charlotte, but it's so good. I highly recommend it if you haven't seen that one yet, okay? And I'm gonna highly recommend these blushes too because I love them. I love the color and the thing. And you know what? In the end, there's no need to put on highlighter. I think it'll be overkill and I think it works here. But what I will do is I will take the first one, Rose Ombre, Rose because it's a little lighter. And just know that there's one called Rose Dory, so there's a rose gold one as well. But I thought that that one might be a little too... Um, okay, so I just learned my lesson here. That was a good lesson to learn. So it's giving more color than I want here. So that one won't be good for a, a, a highlighter, right? Uh, just a highlighter. It needs the, it needs the, the glow. I'm going to put the Rose Atacama, this one, uh, here. Okay, just for a little highlight. Since I'm not putting a highlighter on, this will have to do. Okay, and I've got my rep right, just the way I want it. All right, I've got my highlighter here. Beautiful. And if you want to see them on the same side together, I can do that for you. Let's put Rose Ombre here, just up top, if you want to see this. This is Rose Ombre. Couvre is be, um, underneath it. So if this helps, I'm not sure if it will, but if it does, you can see them together doing different things. Okay, before we get into these comparison swatches, I just wanna remind you that everything that I'm wearing on my face will always be in the description below. There will be some affiliate links, so if you're gonna buy it anyway and you wanna use one of my links, I greatly appreciate it, okay? Um, like today, I am wearing a lot of Hermes products. I'm wearing other products, but I'm not gonna talk about them. I'm only gonna talk about the featured products, but in the description, you'll find the featured products as well as the things I don't talk about down to my nail polish, okay? so. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to remind you, you can always find out what I'm wearing in the description below. So here is Rose Nui, okay? And here are the two I just tried, Rose Ambra, the new one, and Rose Kuvra. And you can see, there's a, hopefully you can see the glow. There's a glow with these two, and there's a slight shimmer. But I want you to, I don't want you to think that because there's a shimmer, if there's like flecks of anything, chunky or anything like that, because I don't really love those products. These are so finely milled, they're, they're not detectable. I'm not seeing anything. It, you, they're reflected here. Look at that glow. Completely flat reflected here, but it's not reflected in the product. So if you're somebody who gets overwhelmed by glow, don't be or flex and you don't like those things in your products, don't worry about these. The one word I would use to describe um, Hermes blushes uh, would be delicate. I think these are really just delicate blushes. They're soft. They're, they're nicely pigmented, but never overdone. That's that's what I would say with that. So we have the two here, that's the new one. Then we have Rose Tan here, okay? Rose Apricot here, Rose Feu here. And then this last one was one I got from Japan. It was an Asian, um, 
exclusive, so I don't have the name, but I can tell you it's number 37, okay? This, this, excuse me. So this one is number 37. So these are the ones I have, and again, a reminder, I will have all of these on my Instagram page in sunlight so you can get a good look at them. Now, interestingly, I thought there was gonna be more overlap, but as I'm looking at each one, I have there's seven here, none of them look the same, okay? There's a nice little array of colors here, none of them look the same, so here are the swatches. And that's it for me, guys. I guess I'll be seeing you again in a few months time to break down some fall winter products from uh, Hermes. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's eyeshadows. You guys don't know. I so want it to be eyeshadows. Although I think they might uh, uh, expand on their base products. So I don't know. I'm hoping it's eyeshadow, but we'll see. Everything I tried today, I genuinely enjoy. Like I said, I've been wearing the fragrance. So that one is absolutely a thumbs up for me, on me. Um, uh, love these anyway, the lip enhancers. So this is a very pretty bit of pink without being too overwhelmingly pink. Not my favorite thing in the world when it goes a little Barbie, but this looks very pretty on my lips. And I love this, this, this formula where it's, it's, uh, shiny and there's a nice gloss to it. I really, really like that. It just melted into uh, the lips. We have, Oh, my favorite shade that I've been waiting for. And I can't say anything more about these, uh, nail polishes. I love them. You can go back in my channel and search Hermes and see all these products. Uh, the other products that I tried out on my page, I love these. I genuinely love these nail polishes. And of course the blushes, blushes that I absolutely love, but I'm loving this edition of the glow. I hope we see more glowy ones in the future. Very, very pretty, really nice one and done product, okay? And we're done. So it's over to you. You have to let me know what you think of these recent releases from Hermes. Are you interested in them? Do you love the products that I uh, talked that I wore today that are the older versions of them, the blushes, the lip enhancer? Let me know. Do you have a favorite Hermes um, nail polish or fragrance? Let me know all that stuff in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. And if you wanna check out any of our boho head wraps, any of our t-shirt, hair towel wraps, sand line beanie, sand line knit beanie, scrunchies, headbands, and all our other hair accessories, just visit us at breezyt.com. If you wanna check out any of our lifestyle luxury accessories, you can visit us at fraybybreezyt.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.